Welcome to Mahjong Central. My name is Michelle. I'm going to play solitaire for Siamese Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. If you don't know how to play Siamese Mahjong yet, there's a link below the video. Just click the words show more to expand the video description and you'll find the link down there. There's also a link down there for solitaire. This is playing four hands at one time as two players. The key is to make decisions with blinders. You cannot think about what is in the other player's hands or you're gonna skew the outcome. So it takes a lot of self-control. You play for the hand that you're drawing for at the moment and that's it. You can look at discards, but don't think about what is in the other player's hands. Play as if you don't know. It's a real challenge, but that's what makes this fun. Oh, and also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, consider subscribing. And then when you do subscribe, click the bell so you get notification of when I post new videos. That way you won't miss out on any opportunities to learn some new strategies or gain some insights into the game that may give you an advantage at the table. Let's play solitaire. I have all my tiles out back here and they've been mixed. And I have a little marker. Get some kind of a marker so you can figure out whose turn it is. Otherwise, you might get lost. I have several times and it ruins the game. you got to start all over. I'm going to get 28 random tiles for the first player. And then I'll get 27 tiles for the second player. Okay, so up here we have three flowers. Here's a pair of ones and a pair of threes. I'm thinking we could do either one, two, three, four, or one, three, five. Okay, that's a lot of tiles. So I think the let's let's focus on one three five here one five three five one three five let's see what we could do up here we've got a north and a west i don't think those are going to help maybe we could play maybe we could play the big year hand here Look here. Nine tiles towards the big year hand. I would try it. And then down here, we could play. We have the three here. I think a three, six, nine might work. Oops. Instead of the fives, a three, six, nine hand. That's not bad at all. That gives us eight discards. This is a really strong start for this player here. The big year hand, which is the last hand under singles and pairs. And then this hand would be a three, six, nine hand. We don't have to pick a hand until we run out of those discards. That's what I would do here. Let's see what we can do for this player now. So here we have a nice multiple of jokers that is fabulous then we have a pair of red a pair of nine crack here's a one two three in dots 
we do have a nice run one two three four five there and then we have a bunch of singles over here i'm thinking that maybe we could play a three six nine three six nine with dragons and then down here we could play the consecutive one two three four five the very first hand i would hold these though and i would also hold the six and the nine because up here we could play a three six nine and use these dragons down here for the consecutive maybe one two three with opposite dragons that would be the last hand under consecutive run in which case i would hold on to this right here so i would say these can all go away I would maybe even hold this flower for the potentially the 369 option. So I would say hold these, throw these five. So this is a really strong start as well. So this is going to be interesting. Let's start by discarding the eight dot. So that was e the player one discarded. Let's have player two draw. They got an eight crack. That's a good multiple for joker bait. So let's, let's throw, let's keep the one crack for the year hand. Maybe this one won't work out. Let's throw the wind west. And I'm just throwing randomly back there. Let's draw for player one. Joker. And we'll discard an east. Let's draw for player two. Two crack. That's a keeper right here. That's nice. Let's get rid of the north. We'll draw for player one. South, that's a discard. Player two. Six bam, that's a keeper. Three, six, nine. Some kind of three, six, nine. Since we have discards, we don't have to pick a hand. Just pick the category and stick in the category till you run out of discards. Let's discard the four bam and draw for player one east discard player two four dot that's not a keeper discard player one eight dot that's a discard two player two three crack that's a keeper we're collecting every three, six, nine. Don't focus on what suit it is or how it fits in. Just gather. Gather until you run out of discards. We're going to throw the five bam. Really, you gather until you get rid of your discards or until a tile goes down that you have to make a choice. And we haven't gotten there yet. So let's draw for player one. Green dragon. Let's keep the green dragon, at least for a little while. Let's throw the one bam. And we'll draw for player two. Eight bam, that's a discard. Drawing for player one. Flower. Now we have two flowers here. Let's throw the four bam. That was already thrown. And we'll draw for player two. Eight dot, that's a discard. Still don't have to pick a hand. Let's play for player one. Four dot, that's a keeper. So I think one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So let's go ahead and get rid of the seven bam. Now we're on player two. Three bam, that's a keeper. They still have discards, so let's throw five dot. Still don't have to pick a hand. I know that's uncomfortable for a lot of people, not picking a hand, but you don't have to pick a hand until you run out of discards. They still have one more discard. So now we're gonna draw for player one. A flower. We gotta use those. Let's use these flowers up here for the 369. Three, six, nine. Let's hold the nine. Maybe we could play 
like numbers with flowers. I'm thinking the one through five sequence Han, Pung, Kong, Pung, Pear. If we use these jokers, we could even get set there pretty quickly. Let's go ahead and throw the one dot. And then we're going to draw for player two. White Dragon, that's a keeper. That year hand is really coming in. Let's put the white dragons where they belong and the green there we go all they need is a green and a couple of red to get set let's throw the five crack and then we'll draw for player one six dot let's hold it maybe we could play one through seven pair hand let's discard the six bam so this can be the next discard probably right there. And we're going to draw up here. This player could potentially take the six bam. Let's now look at hands because they may be able to take that six bam. So for a three, six, nine option, there is the second hand second from the bottom pairs of three, six, nine, and then Kongs of two like 369 tiles. So because our multiple is with the three, we really don't need to take that six bam. We can move the game along and draw. Five bam, that's a discard. And we're gonna draw for player one. Two dot, that's a keeper. I think we should go ahead and have them play the one, two, three, four, five, the first hand under consecutive run. Let's throw the three bam and we'll draw for player two. Now we're back to here, maybe playing, let's see, we don't need that there. Three, six, nine, and then Kongs of threes. If we took that three bam, we would use have to use one of the jokers. Let's see, we could also play three, six, three, six. We don't have a nine. Let's see, three, oh, we do have the nine crack. Let's see, three, six, three, six, three, six, nine. Either way, we did not use the nine bam. I think I would wait and not take that. Oh, that's really hard. Um, let's see. We would have to commit to this. Three, six, three, six, nine. This would be the third hand from the bottom under three, six, nine. Three, bam, went. Let's go ahead and take it. We'll pung. So I'm going to put it on top. So these will be the pair tiles. And then we need, we need six, bam, and nine crack. Let's discard the nine bam and then we'll draw for player one. Oh wait, nine bam, no, we don't need it. Seven dot, oh my gosh, look, that pair hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We need pairs in here. Let's just hold that. Let's get rid of the nine bam and then focus on three, six, nine. If we place these jokers in here, that could be set, that could be set, even this could be set, these would go away. So let's count one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so we're ready now for this player here. South, that's a discard. Drawing for this player. North, that's a discard. Player two. Seven bam. We've already got that up here. Let's throw it. Seven bam, and we'll draw for player one. Oh, seven dot. That pair hand is really coming in here. We need a five dot and a six dot. Let's get rid of the green dragon. and draw for player two. 
six dot, that's a keeper. Three, six, six, nine. We've already got the threes up here, right here. So we need to pung the six and kong the nine. We need a nine crack pretty badly. Let's throw the one crack and draw for player one. Okay, they got a two bam, that's not helpful. We're gonna throw it and draw for player two. West, discard, player one. Five dot, they're ready on the pair hand. They need a six dot. They need a six dot to get ready here. Let's, let's see, three, six, nine. Let's throw the, let's throw the red, red dragon because we could always go back to one through five with the two there. So let's draw for player two, west, discard, player one, red, discard, player two, four crack, that's a discard, player one, five bam, discard, player two, Four bam, that's a discard. Player one. Two dot. We already have a two. Let's just get rid of the red dragon. We don't need that. And then we'll draw for player two. One bam, they've already got the one bam, so we don't need that. We'll draw for player one. There's a flower. Let's get rid of the two dot. So all these flowers, goodness sake, and look at all those jokers, oh my goodness. Okay, we're gonna draw for player two. Green dragon, that's a keeper. Okay, let's look and see, there's three red dragons out now, so that pair hand is dead. They need to switch their hand. So we need to switch to something else. <laughs> So I'm thinking 2017 with dragons. So we don't need all these flowers. Those all gonna are, have to go away. 2017 with dragons. This would be the second hand down under the year category. So let's see here. Three, four, 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 uh, four, four, four. Okay, I have to discard. Whenever you forget if you've drawn or not, the key here of figuring out if you have to discard or draw is to group all your tiles in fours. And if you have all sets of four, you have to discard. So here I have one set of four. Here's a pung with that one. That's another set of four. There's four. Here's four, here's four, four, and four. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six sets of four. I have to discard. So we can throw, let's keep, um, let's go ahead and throw the eight crack. And then we'll draw for this player. Seven dot, that's not a keeper. Neither the two dot, well, let's keep the two dot because we can still play the one through five consecutive hand. Let's throw this two, seven dot and we'll draw for player one. Five dot, that is a discard. We'll draw for player one. Four bam, that's a discard. And drawing for player two. Two crack, let's discard the eight crack. We still don't have to really pick a hand just yet. They're kind of in between some kind of 2017 hand. So let's see here. I want to count again because I don't remember. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we don't have another set. I've already discarded. It's this player's turn now. So we're going to draw. 9 bam, that's a discard. And we're back up here. 6 dot, that's not going to help because we have 3 bams up here. The 3 bam is part of 3, 6, 3, 6, 9. We need 9 cracks. So we're going to throw the 6 dot. 
and that is mahjong down here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, pair hand, mahjong. We're gonna claim it. Now in, in Siamese mahjong, you can hold a winning hand and play two winning hands at one time, but because this is a pair hand, I'm gonna claim it right now. I don't wanna lose out. So I'm gonna go ahead and claim this pair hand. Okay, so there's a pair hand. And we'll throw the two dot. And we need to get rid of these flowers. So they're two away from a second mahjong here. They're set. They need three crack, six crack, nine crack. So we're gonna now draw for player two. They have a seven bam. That We can keep that maybe we can play 2017. Let's go ahead and get rid of the nine dot and draw for player one. They got another flower. You know what, let's just look at the flower situation here. So we were, all these flowers, we have three discards if we keep going with that. But if we play all nines, let's say, and flowers, we only have two discards. So if these are all nines, we're one discard off. So let's see, we have one, two, three, nine bams out and one nine dot. I think we should do it. Let's throw the three crack, three crack. So now we're gonna come up here. This player needs six bam and nine crack right here. Let's draw nine dot three crack was just thrown so we're going to throw that and we're going to draw for player one east that's a discard player two one bam let's keep that because now this concealed 2017 hand might come in this the last one under the year category let's go ahead and throw the nine dot for player two, and we'll have this player Kong. So we're gonna put up the nines, the jokers as the nine. So now they have nine dots out. It's a little risky having all those jokers out. There's already one nine dot out. So really only two, jo two jokers are available, but that exposure makes this hand ready now that we're discarding the six crack six crack so we need either a flower or a nine crack to win here so we're going to draw for this player west that's a discard and we'll draw for player one nine crack that's mahjong so they got both of the mahjongs here right there Three flowers, a Kong of nines, three flowers, a Kong of nines, and then the pair hand. Okay. So this player, they their hand went dead. They were trying the big, big hand, and they were three, six, six. They were one away from this hand here. They needed, the, they needed the nine cracks. Let me know what you think about solitaire for Siamese Mahjong. If you have a set at home, give it a try yourself and let me know how it goes for you. It's a great way to spend some time with the tiles and it'll help you learn all the hands. If you don't know them very well, you can play four hands at once. It really works your brain. Give me a thumbs up if you liked this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, click subscribe and then click the bell so that you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss out on any opportunities to learn a new strategy or gain an insight into the game that may give you an advantage at the table between now and the next solitaire for Siamese Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules May all your picks be keepers.